This is Mysterion, and I'm going to be opening up a vintage 1977 Kenner Fembot from the Bionic Woman. Now, this was one of the most freaky characters in the show. You can see by her face. It's very close to the actual way she looked in the uh, show, uh, which scared me as a kid. I remember being creeped out by that scene when the face pops off. And uh, this doll is very similar to the Maskatron doll that was made for the Bionic Man, who this doll was made to basically, um, you can take the faces off and make the uh, robot into different characters. Uh, here she is with a different type of haircut. And of course, there's her, her face underneath revealing her real truth self, the infiltrate the headquarters, learn its secrets, and battle the Bionic Woman with the Fembot. So this is a 40-year-old doll. It is in immaculate shape inside because it's never been opened before. And I'm going to want to abandon. I'm just going to lift that open and take her out. And here she is on card. I'm going to get it out here. And I always have trouble getting these out when the video is being made because I do this solo. Uh, look at that. Before I move on to the doll, there's a catalog inside of different figures and things that you could buy. The Mission Purse, um, filled with all sorts of different things. The Bionic Woman. And, of course, there's probably going to be... Oh, outfits, of course. They would have marketed this to girls and had all sorts of different clothes. And check that out. There's her carriage house and sports car. And then it just goes completely stupid where you can do her hair. And this is why girl toys stink. Okay, so anyway, here are the, uh, there's Oscar Goldman's office, that's kind of neat. I have the figure of Oscar Goldman and uh, all sorts of view masters, and there's the Six Million Dollar Man, and um, his bionic grip, and all sorts of things. So anyway, you can mail away, if anybody wants to still try this, you can mail away to the Bionic Woman Action Club. Okay, let's have a look and see what she's all about. Pretty straightforward, outfits, faces, her wig... Her accessory phaser gun, and she's in a vintage 70s style kimono with a hood. And she's already ripped off the pack. The pack is so old that the cardboard is deteriorated. She's actually really cool looking. She's not ripped off on the bottom though. It's the same problem I had the other day with the other figure from the 70s. I just had to rip it. I'll take that off later, but just so you're not watching me rip cardboard. Take a look at her face. It's actually pretty creepy. Get that in the right light. And uh, let's see these faces. Let's pull these off the blister packs. I can hear people cringing right now. There's all sorts of different pieces. That's uh, yeah, you see, you can make her into the bionic woman by pushing the face down onto the mask. And uh, I'm going to do this and try to. There it is. And there she is as the Bionic Woman. A Maskatron, you can press a button and it pops off. But in this case, you got to do it physically. She has other outfits. She has a wig she can wear. And uh, some sort of a weapon. Here's her weapon. And some clothes. There's a retro 70s jumpsuit or a dress or some sort of a, a shirt, it looks like. Some sort of a, a smock, a retro 70s smock. And, of course, her shoes. And I will dress her up later. But for now, I'm going to take her and I'm going to bring her into the toy room where she's going to hang out with Steve Austin and Maskatron. And, and look, her feet are even backwards. We're going to put her in here with all the 70s icons, even a bionic Bigfoot in the back. This is Mysterion signing off, opening vintage toys.